for um, my memory slash dream sequence, I'm going to be talking about my experience with depression and how I relate it to Alice in Wonderland. Oh, so with Alice in Wonderland, uh, she, um, she fell down the rabbit hole and for me about two years ago I fell down the rabbit hole so you could they say why why are you so depressed um it doesn't make sense you have everything um you're ungrateful and those are the common things that you hear she followed the white rabbit and she kind of didn't know how she ended up in wonderland but she was there and nothing quite made sense and when you're in a depression, everyone's telling you what you should do to get out of it, but I think ultimately it's up to you to get out of your own depression. And with Alice in Wonderland, everyone, you know, you, she had the white wrap, she was following the rabbit, she had the Cheshire Cat, she had Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and they were all telling her which directions to go, but ultimately she got her own self out of Wonderland. and. Um, everything while she was in there was kind of just nonsense and for me it it was the same thing what are you doing go this way go that way i'm telling you go that way that's how you get out i'm telling you go that way everything is just foggy and i think that's the case what you know i think that's what alice experienced. At the end of the story she begins to trust herself and trust her own decisions instead of relying on other people and you know really fights for herself and at the end of the day also you have to look out for people but you also have to look out for yourself because no one looks out for you the way you look out for you and yeah, so that's my theory slash dream sequence slash memory, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, also Munchland related to depression. <laughs>